boys. Hey, brother, goat just posted, so you know we gotta tune in. So Illuminati, it's been like, uh, bro. I think the last time bro posted wasn't like October. You feel me? I, I mean, he. It's not most. Yeah, yeah, October. So. The title is called The End. So we're gonna get on into this like I'm a show, bro. What you talking about? So every time he he gets on here bro, right now, he should be talking about whatever he feel like talking about. <laughs> so right. we're gonna see what's that up. Shit Come on. Do we so in the building? Gang, Gang sir. Gang, Gang sir. sir. Yeah, let's go. Two skin so in the building, so baby. Trill in the building, man. Simple. <laughs> Simple. What you talking about, so? You still ain't fixed that. Um, am I gonna yeah, post yeah. this this time, bro? Like, am I gonna post Turn this? this I ain't, I can't do my real intro because I was just doing my motherfucking laundry and shit. I got my boxers on right now. I'm in the house, shit. I'm at home chilling, nigga. So listen, this video is not about me. I've been good, bro. I'm chilling, nigga. Every time you see me, I'm a, you know. It's gonna be like I haven't been nowhere because, bro, like, shit, we connected, my nigga. Little do you know. Bro, I'm not gonna cat with y'all, bro. Solubinati is one of my favorite YouTubers ever, bro. Like, he's one of the ones who ain't never switch up and is never scared to speak his opinion about anybody. No matter how we feel about it, no matter how that person feels about it. You feel me? Him and Flight is like the only two. Dang. Him, Flight, um, Cash, who else? You know what I'm saying? It's a few YouTubers who ain't never switch up, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, th those groups made me want to get on the camera, bro. You hear me? Like, I'm not going to draw no names, but a few YouTubers I was a fan of, bro, they started doing weird shit. So, I stopped watching them, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you my little bro. Big bro, whoever the fuck you is. Gotta be a real nigga, though. No femboys. <laughs> he said no femboys. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Uh, okay. So listen. Something has come to my attention today. Today what is, is the about? first of the month of August. And what, sh what actually triggered this video was a, 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 a 2K... Um... A, a, some fucking 2K gameplay that they had posted, and it pissed me the fuck off. So he and it got mad me at that, and y'all don't hear the rain. So here I am. A lot of y'all gotta understand. Classic. Sometimes God take me away so I can really find myself away from the Ethernet stuff because it's not me. Nothing on here is really me in real life. It's just images that I created on this bitch, going crazy with y'all. But in reality, when you take everything away from that particular person who got all the clout, all the followers, and was getting all the attention and all the money. That person behind all that, that's who you really want to get a chance to know. For sure. Because nine times out of ten, everybody y'all see right now online is just protecting their image. There's a lot of bullshit going online. One of the things I'm starting to notice, my nigga, the weirdo Hollywood pedophilia, all the weirdo shit that was going on in Hollywood is starting to transfer over to streamers and YouTubers. Uh, it's kind of even fucked. Uh, he talk about... Uh, Chris, not Chris next door, the videographer Chris from from um the APL. Apparently, in like twenty twenty one, he was talking to a minor, which is like a se a seventeen. I think she, she said she was seventeen. She lied at first, saying she was nineteen or something like that. And he got fired from being Kai's um the videographer, which it's the right move for sure. And I just don't get how hard, like, why is it so hard for niggas to say nothing? Like, if the girl say she's a minor, bro, just don't say nothing back, bro. Just just leave it be, bro. There's a million females in the world, bro. You don't need this kid, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? It's fucked up to even say you're a nasty, motherfucking YouTuber in 2024 nasty. or a streamer. It's nasty. Because nonstop, all y'all been doing is getting exposed for being weirdos. Crazy. Like, it's fucked up. Turn around, it's I another nigga, nigga getting exposed I'm, I'm for being cat. a weirdo. Oops, sorry. Now listen, I'm going to be honest with you right now. It is a very, very, very tough time. 
And by the way, I've been gone since October 2023. None of this weirdo shit has nothing to do with me. My energy, everything about me was not on YouTube. All y'all other motherfucking new age niggas can absorb yourself in this. This has nothing to do with me. Nah, I'm, but let me I'm tell y'all this straight up. In that shit. I remember I was dropping videos on my spiritual channel. See, a lot of y'all niggas is getting older. And shit is starting to click. I ain't gonna even say you becoming conscious because you still a bot. But <laughs> shit's starting to click. So a lot of niggas right. you used to watch is becoming weird to you now. A lot of niggas you donated to, a lot of motherfuckers you was just turning up with, you starting to really question them now. You starting to nah, see through them now. Nah, no cap, bro. So I'm a name drop. Fuck it, bro. So I used to be a fan of Zeus and b -Lu. You know what I'm saying? b Lou still cool. I still watch his stuff and all that, but I don't know, bro. It was like when Zeus blew up and started doing videos with Aiden. I was like, all right, bro. I can't fool this because, like, you know what I'm saying? Me being a grown male, you feel me? Like, you could say it's him playing around. You could say it's jokes. You could say, ha ha, it's a prank, but, bro. Even as a kid, me and my friends ain't play that. You, you know what I'm saying? Let me sit on your, your, your lap stuff. Ha, he, ha, he. It's funny. Nah, nah, bro. Like, it's boundaries as a man you don't cross. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I've, I've never been, been that type to play another role. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like. Seeing that, and I'm not saying like Zeus did it, but he allowed it to happen. You feel me? And I mean, no, no matter his reaction, most of the times, bro, most of these YouTube pranks be fake, bro. So the camera was on him. So you telling me you didn't see Aiden in his draws? You you didn't see that? You know what I'm saying? I don't care if his fans like it or not, bro. It's weird as fuck. So. After that, I was like, all right, bro, I can't really watch you, bro. Like, uh, I, I like the old Zs. You feel me? But, like, now, I don't know, bro. It just got weird. When I dropped the video about, I'm about to use this for a, a quick example real quick. Dewey so in the building, man. I don't know why I got my shit like this, but I actually, it looks like it. That's that uh, ski mask. I'm right still in my shit. Slump guy, you feel me? I don't wear do So listen, I yes, wear bitch, I made it up. Minds. I, I wear turbans these days, you mean? So listen, I already hear niggas talking. Like, man, nigga, I can hear your ass, bitch. My name is Lucy, and I have to figure out who I am. <gasps> Sorry, do we know each other? Don't think so. I think she's me. This is part of something bigger than you. Bitch. Oh. So listen, what? on my spiritual channel, I dropped a video about Lil Nas X in the past. And this is when he bro. was twerking on the devil and doing all his little weirdo stuff, bro, right? Lil Nas X. And bro, I was like, trying to paint. Lil Nas X is what you for sure call an industry plant. No matter what he's talking about, no matter the context, no matter the topic, he's going to get likes, he's going to get views. No matter if you like it or not, you're still going to tune into it. He's giving off a propaganda, bro. I don't even know if that's if that's the correct correct term. He's giving off this this image, and like most of this stuff is going to kids and shit, bro. Like you will not see no grown men like myself at a little Nas X show. You won't just because like it's not even because of what he stand for. Because I don't care what. Other people do in a life. If you're happy, cool. But I'm not finna act like I'm a part of it to make make you you happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, in a few years, bro, when 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 my son get older, bro, it's gonna be weird, bro. Like, this world is different these days, bro. Man, take the picture and tell y'all he's planted perfectly to destroy kids. If you I'm, go to I'm a sorry, I'm, so, concert, I'm sorry, I'm talking so You much, ain't gonna bro. see nothing but film boys and trainees with thongs twerking and doing all type of weirdo it's shit. Crazy, right? But when you go online, 
he was at that time was doing Roblox concert with kids. Crazy. Fortnite concerts and shit. Crazy. But no, no children fuck with him. Now y'all gotta understand what a plant is when they put in position to automatically succeed. The streams fake, everything is fake. But you looking at them like a god in reality. The nigga was planning literally to change the mind. How many of y'all motherfuckers back in 2018, 2017, you was probably 12, 13, 14, probably 15. You grown as fuck now, and you don't want to have nothing to do with Lil Nas X. I was but back in the day, you was 18. fuck with him. Nah, I was not 18. But what I'm trying to tell you is this. These weirdos are being planted, nah, and it's starting to happen in the YouTube and streaming community as well. It's been like happening. Who? I remember I've been told y'all. I just ain't saying no names. And this video is not to target anybody. It's just the weirdo energy has started to come over here now. So now y'all got to get gods back like the Kaiser. 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 Who's not afraid to really yeah. give you a real fucking opinion. Because most niggas is trying to protect their image. Especially if you in the, these groups and all type of shit. Y'all got so much to lose. Because y'all know when groups crumble, everything just go bad. What groups you talking about? A and P. I mean, he might be talking about them just because of the whole Chris situation, but nah, not A and P. Nah. And a lot of y'all ain't knows, even right? shit. It's just y'all man's in them. Let me turn my mic down, bro. Who knows? Man, it took me five minutes to notice I needed to turn this shit down. But look, that shit's still loud. I ain't been on here, so I ain't gonna touch nothing. Damn, is you back? I just started recording, my baby. <laughs> All right, so listen, it's my girl. She just got back. My girl sleep. But look, a lot of y'all gotta understand this. Right now on YouTube, I say this year alone, I don't know how many people has got canceled for the pedophilia shit. I know Dr. Disrespect. And then you got the Chris situation. My nigga over there was with Mr. Beast. You should have been got rid of that fucking weirdo. Crazy. Like, bro, y'all got to start drawing the line for people that don't want to be human, bro. Like, it is what it fucking is. Just like when I dropped the video about Cooley Ray or Coy Leroy, whatever the, the whatever the, my nigga name is. Like, that's my bro. I told y'all, the little, the little girl, the little nigga had uh, anatomy her whole body. Hey, y'all up, bro. I'm not going to care, though. Coily Ray look good, bro. <laughs> she fire. She ain't got nothing. And she is skin and bones, but she kind of fire, bro. She know how to throw that mother. <laughs> body look like mine. And I study anatomy. She know how to throw that mother. Yeah. I study human anatomy so I could tell what is what. And at the time, I was deeply on semen retention. So I had a lot of energy on my no fab shit. I wasn't really on no lustful shit. So when I'm coming across beautiful ass girls, I see a beautiful ass girl. She and when I'm coming across a nigga, I see a nigga. And I told y'all straight up in that video, bro. I disagree with you on this one. I told y'all she was intersex. Speaking of intersexes, look up what just happened in the Olympics. Old I girl got hit that. one time and quit because I the trainee punched too hard. I've seen that. What the fuck is trainees doing boxing against women? I'm telling you right now, fem boys, trainees, all y'all niggas catching these hands. If you ever come here, lay though. You can be the prettiest Bro. trainee of all time. It's been transgenders in many sports, and they overpower the the women. What was it? Swimming or something like that? Like, bro, this has been happening for years now, bro. Like, I'm not saying it's cool or nothing, but how come it wasn't brought up then? Why is it being brought up now and everybody's mad when this shit happened already? You feel me? I'm beating you up. If you ever put your hands on me, you catching these hands. Oh, so. If you was born a nigga, you, you, you still a nigga to me. One HP, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you on one HP to give you a choice to go back to your normal state. I ain't gonna completely get rid of you. I'm gonna leave you on one HP so you can think, oh. So you can remember who the fuck you are. You a man. But listen. Back to, like I was saying with Cooley Ray. I told y'all, bro, a lot of people coming around. I told y'all, by the time 2030 get that here, life's going to be so fucking different. Because now y'all got these new species, these new... 
I call them test tubes, but it's really a lot of deeper shit going on spiritually. But I, this is not my spiritual channel, so I ain't going to talk about that. But you have these new type of beings that's here who don't want to be human. So they would call themselves they, the, it, um. That, bro, that had, I know I'm talking a lot, bro, but this nigga is spitting on stuff that I've been saying for a while now. Bro, that, uh, that, um, he, him, she, her, they, them, bro, I don't, man, I'm not finna categorize you as, as nothing, bro, if you look like a dude, if you got more facial hair than me, but you dress like a girl, bro, I'm gonna say, how you doing, sir? <laughs> That's just me, bro. Like, nah, bro. You're not finna change the narrative and the facts because you want to. You know what I'm saying? That, that, uh, that's like me saying, hey, I want to be a rich white man today. So then I can walk into a bank and get any loan I want because I am, I'm saying what I am now. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. It's... I don't know, bro. Y'all just this generation. It's not even this generation though, because it, it it be niggas older than me, bro. I'm I'm 28. You know what I'm saying? It be niggas older than me, but like, oh, uh, I I identify as, bro. No, shut the fuck up, bro. Bitch, all type of shit. They just don't uh, want to be he or her. They want to be everything but that. This consciousness didn't exist until like 2015, 2016. I'm a man. Y'all know this. It's a man. New. It didn't exist. <laughs> Like, yeah. okay, drag queens and trainees probably been a, been a thing. It just wasn't pushed to the straight community. It was its own thing. Mm. But now, bro, it's like you got niggas in groups with big boys. I disagree with that. Bro, these motherfuckers. Bro, I, like, bro, I ain't trying to get thrown off topic. I'll talk about that in a minute. Dra Dra but my nigga. Drag queens and everything have been around for these years. These motherfuckers don't want to be humans. Movies and They're everything. trying to change the Some way a kid five. think. And what's the, fir what's the first thing these motherfuckers do? They send them... To talk to kids at school. That's the first thing they do is send in trainees and drag queens to talk to kids they at got school. Books a kid now too. Can't make a all they want is V Bucks in the public and library. To they, they don't bro, they the kids. Monica? The kids. Boy. Bro, I can't even remember making Crazy. a real decision about anything when I was a kid. I'm gonna show you something Crazy. that's gonna bro, blow I'm your mind. To you, bro, like, Congratulations, you got there's books in school libraries in 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 the town her libraries that I seen one it was like I'm a boy I want to be a girl what or it'd be like a kid with two female um, parents and all that or a kid with two male parents the narrative is pushed everywhere in and the kids and kids soaking all this up kids taking this in looking like okay i want to do that i like that and pop population is gonna decrease and i feel like that's what they want bro i really do because you know what I'm saying? Fuck this house. It's sad, this is bro. the last time I do something like this. <laughs> I'm afraid. But you talking shit. about you gonna come to a little kid and say, huh? You can cut off your motherfucker. Bro, that's a future school shooter, right? You just destroyed that motherfucker life. Crazy. Now he ain't, bro. Your daughter? I want a dad. I want a penis. Bro, that's a. What? And this is why Protect I told y'all some of these motherfuckers be test tubes. Placed by planet parents to raise them as trainees. They don't even be their real kids. But we ain't gonna go there. Okay? We ain't gonna go there. But listen, what I'm trying to tell y'all is this. This energy is spreading throughout your favorite streamers and YouTubers now. They gonna tell you, oh, it's okay. It's all right. Y'all need to have y'all on my bro. Side, bro. That's my best friend. I still support him. And this and that and that and this. None of this shit is normal. It's all demonic. It's all weird. And it's all simply to keep targeting kids. Nothing has to do with your grown ass. To be honest, they don't give a fuck about us. Nah, facts. If you ain't conscious, the they definitely don't care about you. Nigga, you can all kill 100 people. One conscious nigga is more powerful than you because that one conscious nigga 
can wake up a million people that's thinking just like me on the same tip. But listen, hey. so let's Logical. go to this YouTube shit now. You got streamers and YouTubers arguing about shit. A girl should be able to have a kid at the, or get married. And the other nigga talking about kids should be able to cut their body parts and do this. Like, Man, bro, hell no. I'm trying to tell y'all niggas. And y'all think one both sides is actually going against each other when both nah, is fucking nah, let's, weird let's energy, bro. On Facebook, I, I seen this poll like a year ago. It was like the age of consent should be de decreased to like 14. And the fact that so many people actually voted yes shows that this world is going to hell. This world is doomed 100%. It was grown men on there. It was old men on there. And I'm like, bro, what the f Bro, how do you look at a kid and be like, oh, yeah, I need that. You know what I'm saying, bro? My, my sister is four years younger than me. And my rule always was any girl I talked to or anything had to be at least three years older than her. Which is only one year younger than me. You feel me? Just because, like, even though my sister is only four years younger than me, I can't see myself dating or talking to or fooling around with anybody around her age. That's weird as fuck to me. So for these grown men to be 30, 40, 50 saying the age of consent should be decreased to 14 is insane. Because in their mind, they was like, okay, they have a mature mind enough to make this decision that... The person that they are deciding to do this with should not be penalized for it. That's ridiculous. That's that's nasty, bro. That's it's fucking sick, bro. You have you have to be sick. Even the old the old ass niggas who's dating females who was just teens that just turned 18, 20. You know what I'm saying? That that that's weird. That's fucking Why are we even focused on little ass children? It's like now, people who did have kid-friendly content, y'all seem weird now because of them. People who Not used weird. to just chill and probably play regular games that kids gravitate to. Now, it's like you gotta watch how you gotta watch what you say. You gotta watch what you do. Cause people now are starting to look at us YouTubers and streamers different. That fucking fake gay or humor that Biden Ross used to do that. We go. can't do that no more <laughs> in 2020 fucking four. Here we go. Because yeah. too much shit is going on. Don't y'all see this? By the way, bro. Gay humor listen, was never just like funny trans. to me anyway. If you're a transgender, bro, know. if I'm a god, I know y'all going through a lot. I don't find the humor in that. And I'm going to be honest with you. On my spiritual channel, I have helped a lot of people get through like suicidal shit. And I ain't even trying to be, act like I'm just this special person. I, I knew I've been in positions to where I actually help people from not dying. And a few of them was getting backlash and just going through shit because they was trainees. For sure. Now they go through spiritual shit too. Some of them regret it. I even told y'all it's groups that goes against the communities because the communities has nothing to do with them. It's just to go to the kids. Most people make these decisions when they older. And they regret it. So imagine what's going to happen to the kids that they let them do this shit and then they get older. You know what I'm saying? That ain't going to get pushed. They're going to just talk about, oh, it's okay. But they ain't going to never show the backlash, the, the deaths, all the surgeries, the, the bro, trainees is leading in suicide, all type of shit. It's like crazy, right? But listen, I can give all y'all y'all own planet, give all y'all superpowers and natural resources. Y'all have no life. In a hundred years, the whole planet would be wiped clean. Yeah. All y'all would be dead. Because y'all can't create nothing. Y'all can't produce. create life. Y'all just take. Mm. And it's not all y'all. But if you're a part of that community, that's y'all. Mm. Same with little. Whoever my man's talking about with little kids, 12-year-old, 13-year-olds, should be able to get married and have children and all this. Bro, a, a little kid... Have a that she don't have she's not developed to give nutrients, vitamins to breastfeed a child, the child would die. Milk. 
She don't have, bro. She haven't even developed yet, bro. I mean, they still. And these are man made niggas. Be starting to talk about history, bro. This, this is why I'm spiritual now. I have to remember who the fuck I was and do my own research. Y'all man made shit. Y'all not like us. It don't have nothing to do with me. My ancestors wasn't looking for no little motherfucking kids. They was protected, and we was looking for them juicy ass women who we know we can breed with. And the woman was looking for them motherfucking warriors who they know can go out there and make shit happen. Mm. Nowadays, bitches is just looking for niggas who at home chilling, I can off, got a lot of clout. That's it. They just All want you gotta do is show a woman a bad to be honest, and they drawn. And I know I'm getting a little bit of off topic. You ain't even gotta really like bro. This is what I'm saying. Like, it's so easy now, bro. Every damn near all the baddest bitches I know got a price now. You ain't even gotta try now. Mm. Every bitch got meetups in their bios. It is some good ones Only out there, fans. my guy, but it's tough out here nowadays. Every bitch Sell the pictures. <laughs> all she wants is a little bit of attention. That's it. Crazy. You ain't even gotta love her for real. It's crazy. Just make her take a few pics with her and just show you show people. She feel important now. But listen. Back to what I was saying before I end this video, man, a little ass girls, little kids, they not even developed spiritually enough to even take care of their child. The child will die without a parent or without formula or different shit. When a woman have a kid, she naturally need the nutrients or she probably unhealthy or something so she don't have the nutrients. But normally women supposed to have what they need to breastfeed, to feed their children, etc. cetera. Sure. Uh, younger kids don't have that naturally. Younger kids don't supposed to be doing none of that shit, bro. I can't even believe I'm even having this conversation with myself because I'm talking to myself right now. And by the way, the other nigga who was talking about cutting a... <sighs> what? <laughs> I feel like he have to say that. He got to keep playing down the middle so his opinions could feel like something. But, bro, whoever this nigga is, I guess he's going to be one of those ones. See, they look for big content creators like that that can keep their shit going. That's crazy. Cause ain't nobody in their right fucking mind gonna let they motherfucking little brother or sister who, or kid in general even look at sex, even talk about it. I'm nah, not bro. having that conversation Think with about this, bro. Aaliyah was about 15, right? Practically married to R. Kelly, which was probably what 27, 28 at the time. On the island with these grown niggas like Craig Mack. Think Jay Z was there, maybe, but like, bro, like, she was prayed on, bro. And, and I seen somebody say, um, her uncle was there, but still, bro, like, I don't care what nobody say, that girl was passed around at a young age. She was brought in not only because of her voice, but the way she looked. And niggas love that. She was prayed on. Sad to say, but it's true, bro. Like, not just R. Kelly. And the fact is, bro, like, niggas been cool with it for years, bro. All that happened before I, I was even born, I think, bro. And now people just caring about it when R. Kelly been doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, not even only him, bro. It's just, bro, the world we live in, bro. Little crazy. ass nigga. That little piece of shit, I ain't even talking crazy, to him about no fucking crazy. sex shit. Or her about no... That ain't even a combo that would ever exist to a kid. They won't even be around or never see it. Shit. So when they be like, I'm having these conversations, and I'm doing this, and I'm, it's up to them if they want to do it. Who's having these talks with kids? Niggas that's already picked out the pedophilia shit in their blood. They not like us. They not like us. <laughs> You've made it this far on self trivia. Here we go. True or false? You can build credit bro, if with I your rent payment. Ad, bro, True? I'm gonna know some. All right, that that's it. Ain't anyway. But little, be safe, bro. Like, use your brain, bro. What's right is right. What's wrong, wrong is wrong. No matter what you think, no matter what you, no matter who you feel like will be opposed to your opinion. I don't care if any of y'all agree with this or agree with me. I don't care. At the end of the day, what's right is right. What's right or wrong. What's wrong is wrong. You feel me? I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm a, I'm out, bro. If Swank did it, then you know that it's a vibe. <laughs>